Hey everyone, uh, my name is Corey Witz and I am one of the ministers here at OCC. I hope you had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend and I am so thankful uh, for all who have served. This past Sunday we continued our Proverbs and Pixar series and we began by asking the question, what is your greatest fear? If you're watching this video, leave us a comment and share with us one of your fears. For me, it's the fear of being irrelevant. I want to matter to at least someone. I know it's a, it's a little deeper than a fear of snakes and spiders, but I hate the idea of my existence not mattering or not making a positive impact. Whether serious or funny, fear is a powerful emotion. Children, and maybe even you, are often afraid of what or who is in their closet or under their bed. The Pixar movie Monsters, Inc. plays on this fear in a fun way. It turns out that the monsters actually are in the closet. And not only are the kids afraid of monsters, but the monsters are actually afraid of the kids. Some might relate to that. But they think the kids are toxic. But are kids really toxic? The answer is no. But the monsters, they don't know that because they've never gotten up close to a child. And so they've developed the wrong idea about kids. The movie illustrates how false ideas can lead to irrational fears. For many of us, the same thing happens when it comes to God. We might view God like, like some kind of scary monster that's out to get us. Perhaps you've heard stories in the Bible of God's wrath and judgment. And you're like, man, I hope I don't make God mad. But is that the way it's supposed to be? Should we be afraid of God? Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The phrase, the fear of the Lord, appears 10 more times in Proverbs, and it's a recurring theme throughout Scripture. But what does it mean? You can hear all about it by listening to Sunday's message in its entirety. But let me just say here, you don't have to be afraid of God in the sense of terror or dread. This is not the kind of fear God wants in our relationship with Him. In fact, this was never God's original plan. This kind of fear came as a result of sin, and it's why God sent His Son. You see, Jesus took the punishment we deserve for our sin on the cross. And so we don't have to be afraid. That's such good news. God sent his very own son into our world. Jesus came and lived as one of us to declare God's love for us so that we might have a relationship with him. And in coming to earth and getting up close and personal, Jesus took away our fears about God. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus is the radiance of God's glory in the exact representation of his being. Because Jesus came into our world, he removes the false ideas and irrational fears that we have about God. Rather than keep our distance, we can now have a relationship with God. We don't have to be afraid. We'll continue our Proverbs and Pixar series this Sunday as we recognize and celebrate our high school and college graduates. I hope you'll join us either in person or online at orville.church/live. I hope to see you there. Have a great week.